are. And today is March 27th, 2020. We're just gonna make this quick little video to show you what's going on around town during this pandemic. So we're gonna, we're gonna quick explore our Acme, see how many empty shelves are, um, are empty. And then afterwards, we'll just quick stroll through town in the car and see what's going on around town this Friday afternoon, or night, evening in this case. So let's go check it out. Oh, we can cool. The car. That's good. Oh, that's a great idea, actually. Better than nothing at this point. Yeah. Plus, we always wash our hands when we go back home anyway. Yeah. Please practice social distancing. Oh my goodness, look at this. Purchase one of this giant list. <laughs> no, 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 I, I don't know what's fine, it's just, you know. I know. Apparently, people need their hot dogs, because look. <laughs> I guess these arrows are supposed to help with the whole um, social distancing thing. Yeah, because those are new. I haven't been in this sack in a while. But yeah, apparently people need their hot dogs. But there's plenty of bacon. Bacon! So at least Big Butt Bear won't panic. Yeah. No turkey! <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it, yeah. Yeah, or in this case, they just... Obviously, that's what we don't want. You can buy the pre-packaged... Right, I think that's something the CDC said that store should do, right? Welcome to the beautiful, I guess, mouthwash. Mm. Oh, there's cotton balls here! The world is safe, there's cotton balls again. Exactly! Ketchups are disappearing. That just needs to go with your Corona beer. Oh wait, that's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> There's the bag over here. Deli is obviously different to protect the employees. Yeah, that's definitely different, but good to protect our people. Here's all the. Here's a clear example of hoarding. Repeat that meat on the shelves because they're restricting how much you can buy. Right, and so far it's been effective. Here we have some more hoarded sections. Oh yeah, wow, look at all the kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look what, there's plenty of Corona beer. <laughs> plenty of that stuff. <laughs> Oh, come on. Also, ready for aisle 17? It's just empty. <laughs> Surprisingly, there's tissue paper. There is not one roll of toilet paper to be seen in Acme of Yorktown Heights, New York. Isn't this just lovely and fine and dandy? Regardless of size, there's none. Yep, not one roll of toilet paper. There is paper towels though. So, uh, yeah. This is beautiful. And that is... Dude wipes. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what that stuff is. I guess so. We had one of these the other day, it was really good. <laughs> Obviously this is nowhere near as bad as what we saw Stop It Shop a week, a week, two weeks ago. Bleach is in stock, they're just very good. Yeah. Really, we only saw one totally empty aisle, so. So the hoarding situation has definitely improved. It's yeah. Not far from normal. All right, now that we got our grocery shopping done, let's take a quick stroll in town 
by driving and just to see what's going on in the town on Friday night. All right, guys, so we're just gonna quick stroll through town just to show you what what's going around. And everyone's handling this uh, coronavirus case. Which has nothing to do with beer. Exactly. That's kind of disappointing because I, I like to like Corona beer, <laughs> especially with a uh, nice wedge of Lyme disease. I mean Lyme. <laughs> Pretty much he means Corona beer with, li with uh, limes. So, here we are. The nice thing about the uh, grocery store, they put plenty of wipes, sanitization stations everywhere. Yes. That was actually quite nice. All these, all these restaurants are promoting uh, take out and contact with the lip balm. Um, yeah, the salsa fresca, fresca had nice signs made up. Which is very classy. This place Perfect. is obviously yeah. take out. And here come all the non essential businesses. Nobody's buying glasses. Nobody's buying jewelry. This People is essential service. Cakes. TJ Maxx stocks like those. TJ Maxx, you shouldn't go. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Panera Bread. Pet Vala is closed. And uh, yeah, I mean, these guys are celebrating their curbside pickup. Open for takeout. Which is the one that said touch this? Salsa Fresca. Yeah. I don't know if you caught the sign at Salsa Fresca, but it said it said touchless pickup, not just yes. curbside pickup, touchless pickup. I think that means they put it in your car. Exactly, yeah. CVS, I don't know if they're open or not, they must have abbreviated hours too. Yeah. Actually they're open, but still, there's, pl there's places that have abbreviated hours, like, you know, do the lower staff, you yeah. don't let the city go through. They've got signs. Looks like there's a greeter they have over there, which is always good. Yes. But I'm sure they don't have hand sanitizer. Subway looks closed. I think that Subway's permanently closed. I think that's abandoned Subway, because I haven't seen that place open in such a long time. Oh look, it's me. Um, where are we Coming going? Up to is one of our favorite restaurants, Papu's Creek Kitchen. Wow, that parking lot is packed. I mean, it's a popular restaurant, and I'm sure takeout's booming right now on a Friday night. So Look. they've got a lot of people picking up. Yeah. We're gonna drive, okay. No, let's make a left turn. All right, let's drive past them. This is, there this is encouraging, cuz. Papu's is, we, we love Papu's. They're Papus really is good. Papu's amazing. Curbside pickup they have. Nice. And since the traffic, traffic light is yellow, urging you to exercise caution. Why don't you drive past the whole Kmart yeah, Plaza? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna go do the, lap, the loop. The whole loop, okay. Yeah. I guess 7-Eleven's considered essential because it's, it's a food service or it's closed. Yeah, they're open, but they're... This is an essential service this building right here, this commerce building. There's medical tents in the building. Yes, a lot of the Chinese virus restaurants are closed. Nobody's, nobody's getting Chinese. No, not right now. Fire department is of course open, but it's a volunteer fire department, so. Exactly. There's nobody there most of the time. These are all medical tenants right here. Medical tenants? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it says we're open for right now. They couldn't open in time. Yeah, they don't the liquor orders. store is open. Domino's is open. Laundromat's open. Are oh, you gonna go in this way? Okay. Yeah. I want to hang the camera out the window, but I think that would make it pick up too much wind. Yeah, well, we don't want that. Kmart is closed, so obviously they're not open, like permanently closed due to the uh, Amazon virus. <laughs> yeah, that's been going on for a long time, unfortunately. That probably stopped. There's a dance studio here now. Oh yeah, look at that. It's not anywhere close to the best dance studio. That would be Pure Joy Performing Arts in Mount Kiska. That's right. Yorktown Grilling. That's another takeout place. I think they're open. Yep, they're open just for takeout. So and that makes me happy to see that a the- A uh, former Kmart location murdered in cold blood by Amazon. Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, before you go over here. Oh my gosh, whoa. Wow, I haven't seen this place since it completely closed. Oh my gosh, that's insane, yo. It's too bad. Yeah, it really is too bad. I used to shop there all the time. Oh, we're gonna quick scroll through this parking lot so we can get a glimpse of the diner. We 
did carry out Wednesday this week at Yorktown Diner. Oh, that's... There's no one there. They're open. I know they're open, but still. I'm hoping there would be at least a couple of uh, people. You know, um, they're like at the other restaurants, you know. Well, even though it's good that restaurants consider essential service, they're still getting pounded by this coronavirus. To go or free delivery. Yeah. Just hope we're getting some decent takeouts tonight. No, no, pizza. We were around town about half an hour ago, and the pizza shops had several cars each in front of them. Yeah, so that's good. So let's see. You can get pizza, you can get tacos. And the sushi place is close. That's not Chinese. Which way are you? Trying? I'm gonna turn right, but I'm gonna let these guys go first. If you look down there, it just says yes, we're open for business, that handmade sign right there. Where if you want to zoom in right there. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you can pick it up, but yeah, under the taco bell it says yes we are open. And obviously the chairs are stacked up because no one can go in to right. dine in. That seems to be the standard here. Pizza places. Oh, Daz is, I guess they're closed for now. Or they yeah. after hours. It's pretty past their hours anyway. Burger King is drive through only. Of course. Okay, there's another car coming up. So I'm just gonna yeah, also, the light is red. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go run the red light. I just didn't know if you were looking at it or not. No, I, I see the red light. Light is green. The intersection is clean. There's nobody behind me, I'll just scroll right here. Nina's Pizza is open. Dunkin' Donuts is open. Uncle Giuseppe's, that's an Uncle Giuseppe's is open, but we've heard it sucks. Really? It's not good? It's, well, I shouldn't say it sucks. I've heard it's nowhere near as good as Turco's. Oh, uh, okay. Burger King's obviously drive through only. Now, when we went past YPP earlier, really the parking lot was. Nice, nicely popular. Yes, absolutely. Because when we did, we actually did last week. We did Yorktown Pizza and Pasta for our Carry Out Wednesday, and there was not one car in sight. I might but even... we were there very late. Yeah, that's true. Too. We were there very late in the day, and uh... hopefully they had they had taken a bunch of orders. Yeah, I just hope the diner gets. A diner, Yorktown diner here in Yorktown. You know, the businesses that have been around forever, I think most of them will survive. Yeah. Got the green arrow. There's Oscar's Pizza. They've got, well, they've got cars all over the place. I'll just quick go through the parking lot. All right, and you can go out the top? Yeah, I'm on the video out there. So this, there's oh, a wow. few less cars now, but it was, fortunately the lot was packed. This is not bad for a So everyone's still getting their Friday night pizzas. And the people in the pizza shop are actually, they look busy. They look busy, which they is They look very like they're good. busy putting orders together, so. So that's very good. Yeah, Friday night pizza is still a thing. Yeah, still a thing. Just gotta I, have We it. don't know, Yorktown, Yorktowners just love their pizza. There's like. There's six your pizzerias right here in Yorktown. Right, it's I mean, in the center of town. There's like, yeah, like six pizzerias within walking distance of each other. Exactly, like. Maybe that's another video we can do right there. We just walk to all the pizzerias once this is all over to show you how close they are to each other. Or we can just get a slice from each one someday. That would be... Yeah, yeah. that would be another good video. I'd do that. Yeah. But yeah, the pizzerias is, 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 are doing good for Friday night, so that's very encouraging. There's some local delinquents skateboarding in the parking lot. Yep. Within too much, just too, too close a distance. I don't think you're supposed to be doing that in the first <laughs> place right now. Well, the parks are closed. And that should tell, hey, Yopo, you closed the parks. They're just uh, getting together in the parking lots instead, so yeah. fail. All right, so um, I'm just gonna, we're going to end the video here since this is an empty parking lot. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this town, uh, tour of, this, of what the town's like right now. Thank you guys for watching, and if there's anything else that looks interesting, we'll continue to show you during this coronavirus pandemic. Stay safe and stay healthy, everybody, and wash those hands. <laughs>